I had a lot of old audio recordings made on a tape recorder with a microphone and I made them for instance in the church and I found that there was in some recordings a lot of echo and I wanted to filter that echo out and um, I was a little bit inspired by the earlier uh, circuits that I made with the 741 op amp and in this video I want to show the circuit that I've made to filter the echo out um, and uh, the echo the echo is uh, given uh, by a sort of hollow sound on the background so I made a band bandpass filter with a 741 op amp and this is the way that I constructed it it's of course experimental but everyone can make this and make it in a, on a beautiful uh, board or so and what the filter does is that um, it creates more or less a peak in the audio uh, range. I did not uh, measure this uh, exactly, but this is my um, impression about the uh, filter characteristic from this bandpass filter. These frequencies from 1 kHz up to let's say 7 kHz or so, or 8. So the, this is a little bit more a better way to show it. These, these frequencies are amplified and are um, passed by the filter and all the other frequencies, the low frequencies and the high frequencies are suppressed. Uh, this is the way that it works. This is the filter section that couples the output signal to the input here from the 741. The 741 is set to amplify as a linear amplifier and this high value potentiometer gives the uh, effect. It's also a little bit the effect of uh, what's called phasing. Um, a sort of strange sound as if the music is uh, heard through um, a pipe or so. And of course this is also part of the filter. This, these values are found experimentally and in fact this capacitor bypasses this part of the circuit. But it works this way and um, so the circuit is um, published as it is. Input is line level, output to the amplifier is also line level and in fact a little bit more because it also amplifies a lot this circuit. I want to demonstrate the circuit now first by some music and also want to uh, show the effects from the potentiometer. Now the music is started. So, uh, the echo is removed, but, but what we get back is somewhat noise, and that noise is created by the filter, and it also has to do with the properties from the filter, the fact that it only amplifies in a certain frequency band. So again, the music, now I turn the potentiometer here. It's somewhat louder. And here, this part of the filter, you can hear that the low frequencies are gone. And in this part of the filter, you can uh, more or less diminish the echo effects when the potentiometer is here at this point. And in fact it's better when you want to use it as an um, echo remover to split up this uh, resistor, the 50k resistor, in two 
two separate resistors and with this potentiometer you can uh, take away the echoes in the audio recording. Of course when the echoes are very strong the circuit won't work but with normal audio recordings uh, it works. So this is the 50k potentiometer and here it is split up into two sections and that's I think a better way to get the, the effect. But I left it in this uh, diagram completely intact because it also has um, a lot of other effects and I mean them the turning of this potentiometer uh, gives a sort of facing to the sound. I want to demonstrate it again. Of course you have heard it already. So this is the, the effect from the filter. And now I want to demonstrate with the noise generator. Remove the audio source and switch on the noise. This is the noise generator. Broadband noise. And you can hear it already. I have to take to get a little bit more input volume here. This is the input potentiometer. And here you can also hear how this filter reacts when um, this potentiometer is changed. The value from this potentiometer is changed. And this kind of sound you will, can also expect when you add a, a music source to the filter. It amplifies very much also, so you have to take the input volume uh, good under control. So also weak uh, sources can be uh, put into this filter. Weak audio sources can be fed through this filter. 